Gerrigal and this is Dublin 24. It's a piece I've done for the Science Gallery Lightwave Exhibition. I think the Science Gallery is a great, it's a great addition to the city. I mean, it's, it's amazing it's taken this long, but uh, it's a fantastic space. I think the exhibition has shown really great work, you know, from all around the world. And it's been, I think it's given people an idea that, you know, there is this uh, correlation between art and science. Yeah, I was very interested to be, to be asked to, to take part in Lightway for the Science Gallery because originally by training I am actually a scientist. I'm a, a biochemist by training who has turned to art. Uh, Dublin 24 is about one day in Dublin. It's 24 hours as seen by 120 traffic cameras based all over the city. And what I've done is I've recorded one still per hour for every camera and then animated it together to give a portrait of the kind of the life of the city, people going to work, going about their business, to, just the, the day to day stuff of, of real life. And I, I started to notice traffic cameras everywhere I went, there's one on every traffic lights. And I'm kind of interested in this whole idea of the surveillance society that everywhere we go we're being watched by some kind of camera. So I wanted to turn it on its head a little bit and uh, instead of saying being critical of the whole idea of surveillance, which is a, which I am, but I wanted to look at the kind of the beauty of it, and this is very much uh, a, a beautiful piece because when you see the, the sunrise in the morning and the, the light, you know, going through the city through the day, it's actually, you know, it's 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 a very beautiful piece to look at. My name's Anna Hill, I'm an artist. Um, this piece is called Aurora and it's part of Heliosphere, um, which is a collaboration with Peter Gallagher, who's an astrophysicist here at Trinity. But this piece I made in collaboration with um, the singer Ilora Leonard and um, with, in collaboration also with Illustrious as Consultancy on the Sound. But the concept I began back in 2002, I was interested in the relationship between some of our most highly developed science and technology and spiritual and anthropological um, interest in the auroras. I travelled up with a Hasselblad mechanical camera um, and a video camera, a digital video camera, with which we shot this footage. Luckily, there was a solar mass ejection going on at the time, so witnessed some really incredibly, phenomenally overwhelming auroras, um, because I was there just for a total of two weeks. Um, the first response to them was one of being completely um, humbled and overawed and overwhelmed. And then the more I investigated the community and took sound recordings and interviews of um, their responses and their creative and scientific responses um, to the natural phenomena, the more I learned about them and the more I saw the connection um, that was spoken about between the, um, the Sami, the native Sami word which translates as audible lights um, and the um, folklore in fin Finland and Russia and this is Illa's music on top, his composition which is absolutely beautiful and his interpretation of an old Gaelic um, poem which is to do with the interconnection of different parts of the world. Um, a lot of the local folklore related to the lights as being a spiritual connection, particularly for people who died um, young or traumatic deaths, and being a light way and a passage into the spirit world. And just finally, the idea for the interaction, um, I've been um, making some research with a um, bioengineer over in Milan, um, who was using developing an astronaut breath sensor. And I was very interested in the connection between the breath, breathing, and um, the folklores of singing, singing to attract the lights, as if to attract the spirits and this connection. Um, but just use a very simple wireless mic so that 
the audience's breath can connect with the film footage that I took up in the Arctic in 2003 and it brings um, a sense of, of subjective connection with the phenomena. solar physicist Peter Gallagher. Okay, well this is one of the stereo spacecrafts, a steel at only 500 million euros, and we built two of them. So, well, NASA built two of them. So NASA spent a billion euros to get those pictures that you're seeing. Okay, so how do we take 3D images? Well, the first thing is you need two perspectives. You need two eyes. What we do is, here's the Earth, here's the Sun, Here's stereo A and stereo B. This one's ahead and this one's behind of the Earth. And what they do is they both simultaneously take pictures together. And then we take down the data from this spacecraft and from this spacecraft, so you get two images. And then in software, we combine the two of them together. So we use computer programs to overlap these two images and create three-dimensional views that you're able to see using glasses. 